this is a knee extension technique. Basically what we're going to do is use a strong power band here, but that may vary depending on how much force you need, the size of the person, what they're going to do in it and so on. And this is going to resist that knee collapsing into flexion under the weight of the body and then assisting back into extension. So it's very useful for some of our muscle strains or tears and our uh, patella tendons, but also some of our other things like weakness following surgery, total knee replacement, possibly our anterior cruciate ligaments and so on. So we're going to start about halfway down. Don't just start on the tibial tuberosity. We want a nice long lever arm. So we're going to start about halfway down the shin and then come back up. And if there's a muscle strain here, we want to finish well above and we can box up all of this soft tissue to create that soft tissue offload, which some of the research has shown reduces the stress on those muscle fibers. So nice anchor point without any tension. Hold that anchor point and get our tension on, making sure we're not tractioning the skin. We're gonna run up on the angle and use the patella as a pulley, just as our quadriceps mechanism does. Then if we have this uh, muscle tear, we're gonna box up through this region. So anchoring, once again, pulling everything together using the fingers and then sticking it down and another anchor point at this proximal end to make sure we don't run into problems with blisters through here. Now we're going to come over the top with a 3 inch or a 7.5 centimetre cover strip, particularly good if it's a contact sport athlete as this power band is a little bit thicker and is a little easier to, to tear off. Whereas when we have the wide one over the top, that's going to anchor to the skin all the way around and we only have the one layer at that interface. So it, it's much harder to rip off. So we just make sure we start just below the first strip. Once again, anchor, get our tension on, and then stick down. And this should come all the way up and finish with a nice anchor point and finish above so that once again, we're locking all the way around that first piece of tape. If it's a patella tendinopathy or a fat pad, we might come in and box up beneath the knee. If it's the muscle strain through the quadriceps, then we're gonna come in and box up on top. We can do just some parallel strips and get that longitudinal direction, or for a maximal one, we can come in and do a cross hatch where we're gonna go transversely then longitudinally, transversely, longitudinally. So again, nice anchor point on the skin. Hold really well and then pull all of that soft tissue together. Tension on, stick down and then another nice anchor point without any tension. We then come longitudinally. So here we're going to anchor, pull everything together again, tension on, and then stick down. We can see it's starting to box up all of this soft tissue. And we continue with our next transverse one. Anchor, pulling all together. And sticking down. And then finally one more transversely. Once again, because there's a lot of overlapping, just make sure that we hold that really well. And if you find that it's necessary, you can apply a light 
spray with the adhesive spray between layers to maximise that adhesion. Mm -hmm.